What's good YouTube? It's your boy Quarantino the Guy coming at you live and direct and today we have a very special topic nigga. <laughs> so on some real shit, it's we're really going to get down to it. So I got a question for y'all and I already know the answer but I'm just going to state the question just because um, we having a little fun with this shit. So who ghosts more, men or women? Who ghosts more? <clears throat> so that's the topic that we're going to speak on. And obviously, it's not men. <laughs> obviously, it's not men. Uh, I, we be seeing this old bitch a lot, don't we? Uh, she fine, but it's whatever. You know, they like promoting the old bitches and shit. But yeah, so <clears throat> you already know what it is. Who goes more, men or women? Obviously, it is absolutely woman. This right here, guys. This is what y'all do. This is what y'all do. But, you know, it looks like she just got done with a workout, hopefully. Thank God. Anyways, yeah, man. Men ghost women or women ghost more. See, I, I'm going to go ahead and clear the air. Let me tell you why a dude will ghost a woman, right? Let's go ahead and do that so all the females who are watching aren't like, oh my God, nah, uh because I just got ghosted last week. No, bitch, this is what happens. Um, So the only way that a dude will ghost a woman is if he already got the pussy. You feel what I'm saying? Or if she just say something stupid through the text and he's like a balling ass nigga, like if, if if he knows that the ball is in his court, i.e. he got a bag and like bitches have been chasing him like he's like a celebrity status or some shit like that, of course he's going to ghost a bitch. I mean, it's not really even ghosting. A nigga might reply once and then not reply at all. You know what I mean? Some shit like that. That's not really ghosting. I'm talking about when you have had a personal relationship, when you have um, met a person, you know what I'm saying? When you have possibly had an intimate uh relationship with them or if you've been texting for a long time you know and then all of a sudden you just drop off significantly um <clears throat> so that's really what ghosting is so the reason why guys will ghost a dude or, or woman the reason why guys will ghost a woman is because for one we already fucked so it's like yeah that was what we was looking for we was trying to get the pussy or whatever. We was trying to get the ass. And, um, you know, shit, shit didn't line up. So, uh, you know, we hit and, you know, we already knew that she wasn't really, you know, that fi. Like, maybe it was like a chick who was like not really bad or whatever, but you, you, you was in a drought and you had to hit shorty. Um, you know, well, ghost the chick. Or if you've been dealing with a shorty, you've been smashing or whatever, and she changes something about her appearance. Mm. You know, if she, you know, changes something about the way that she looks. Like, say say you was dealing with a shorty like this and obviously, well, I'm not going to say obviously. It looks like they're real dreads. Hopefully they are. But in the event that they are not, let's just say, go ahead and say they are Let's just go ahead and say they're real. If you're dealing with a shorty like this, and this is not to single her out, I'm just making a point. If you are dealing with a shorty like this, you know, she bad, she's sexy, you know, little, little light-skinned ting. Oh, it looks like she's married. It looks like she's married. But um, anyways, if you're fucking with a chick like this and she suddenly cuts her hair, like all of it, you see, or if she dyes it a crazy ass color, like some rainbow six nine shit, um, you know what I'm saying? Or, or you may not be into plastic surgery, and she gets like weird Botox, and it makes her look like Lil Kim in Black China or some shit. That is when a dude will ghost her if she changes her physical appearance, or if she starts getting fat. You know what I'm saying? You you got a you got a, a side piece or whatever, and she starts getting fat. Of course, she's gonna get ghosted. That's just the name of the game. 
You feel me? So it that's why a man will ghost a woman. But the thing is, women ghost men a lot of times for no reason. They will be having conversations. Well, it is a reason, and I'll, I'll tell you why. They'll be having conversations, right? They'll be having long conversations with a dude over text, through text, or some shit like that. You know, getting deep, learning about each other. Just, you know, casual text dating. You see what I'm saying? And maybe he's been doing everything right so far. One reason why she will ghost you is because you might say something that offends her. You see what I'm saying? I think we 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 already went through this explore page. You might say something that offends her. You see what I'm saying? You might say something that gets on her nerves that she doesn't like. Maybe y'all have different political leanings. She'll ghost you and won't even tell you why. Um, I and it's a lot of bitches on on the dating apps who are saying, "Okay, I'm not I'm not gonna fuck with." Uh, What's it called? I'm not going to fuck with a, a guy who's a Trump supporter. I'm not going to fuck with a Republican or, or a person with a, a Confederate flag or shit like that because these bitches be trying to act like they don't fuck with racist dudes, quote unquote, knowing knowing for a fact that these bitches will fuck any motherfucker who is in a position of power or if he looks good. You see what I'm saying? They don't give a fuck about what you think about shit in reality. You see what I'm saying? That's why... That's why these rappers can fuck your bitch. That's why these rappers can fuck any niggas. You think these dudes are like politically active and and they're so aware and they're sensitive to um, social social uh, problems? Hell no. (laughs) These niggas out here fucking bitches just like bitches out here fucking niggas. And they realize that and that makes them more valuable in a woman's eyes. So the thing is, she might ghost you because you say some shit that she doesn't agree with. You see what I'm saying? Or she figures out that, you know, you make red pill content. But, I mean, if your game is fire, if your game is fire, you you can keep her. I'm not saying that, you know, if, if a bitch figure out that you red pill or some shit, you know, she going to ghost you. But some will. Some will. And, and to that, I say that's when you kick in with that abundance mindset. You feel what I'm saying? Especially if she was bad. If you got a bad bitch or you ever had a bad bitch, you had the potential to get another bad bitch. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. Um, so that's one reason why she, why she'll ghost you. You see what I'm saying? If if um if you say something that offends her, another reason why she'll ghost you is because she just got bored of you, my nigga. You feel me? She got bored. She got bored. You're boring. You know what I mean? And, or you might have a weak stroke game. You might not be able to fuck good. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you might have hit it. She might have let you hit, and you did not dig that shit out. Like, you did not bust her down. Like, you, you did not do what you were supposed to do in that regard. So she's done with you, my nigga. Like, she's not really fucking with you no more. And that is all fine and dandy, too. At least you got the hit. What you worried about? So that's another reason why she'll ghost you. Another reason why she'll ghost you. Because she got a man, my nigga. Wake up. Dude, all these women on Instagram posting pictures like this are getting fucked. They getting fucked. They are getting fucked. Like, and I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying don't don't think that these women are just out here, you know, chilling and not not getting no dick and shit like, bruh, these getting these hoes are getting everything that they want at the moment. See, physically at least, they are able to get these men um, who who you know are high status guys. But the thing is, these guys are privy to the game. They're not allowing these women, these Instagram models, and all this other shit to take advantage of them. The only guys that are letting these Instagram models take advantage of them are beta guys you know dudes who don't put their foot down when it comes to a woman dudes who let their girls go to um girls night out dudes who let their girls go to bars and clubs and 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 mingle with the uh streets and shit dudes who allow their woman to do whatever the fuck they want to do you see dudes who allow their woman to have guy best friends and shit like that and these guy best friends are just like balling ass niggas like nba players nfl players college athletes or some shit like that you know um (laughs) these guys are naive to the game 
and they not hip to the game. So they allowed a woman to hang out with these guys and they, and they, they, uh, rationalize it under the guise of trust. Oh yeah, I trust my woman. You see what I'm saying? I trust that she won't go out here and have sex with another dude. Or they might rationalize it as, oh well, shit. I'm I'm still hitting. I'm still having sex with her. Like I'm the only one hitting now. So you know, I'm not really worried about what she do on her off time. You see what I'm saying? But the the, the problem with that mindset is that if you are giving this woman resources, if you are hel- helping her out in certain ways, like if you are living with her, or you know, you got a position where she is somewhat dependent on you financially in a way, then you're basically paying for your bitch to go fuck other niggas. Like you're basically letting her have her cake and eat it too. And that's why it's a problem. Like, look, baby, if, if you fucking with me, you have to be able to cut everybody off. (laughs) You feel what I'm saying? Or it's not going to work. And that is, that's, that, that's just how it rolls. You feel me? That's just how it rolls. And, 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 and as a man, I would do the same too. I ain't going to be over here kicking it with bitches and, and, and chopping up with bitches. But see, bitches just think that, you know, you just supposed to let her do whatever the fuck she want to do. Well, yeah, that's cool. If we just fucking, that's cool. If we just fucking, but you ain't going to get more than that. You just going to get smashed out. And this is the difference between why these girls, certain girls don't begin cuffed and certain girls will forever just be getting fucked by random niggas because they cannot let go of the men who have been in their past. They cannot let go of the guys who used to fuck. They cannot let go of these certain type of dudes. You see what I'm saying? And what happens is they are able to go and mingle and get fucked by other um, dudes and whatnot and, and, and ride the carousel. But then it's these beta guys who will take them back. Like if you dated a woman and you took her back after she fucked another dude. All right, bro. I really have nothing to say to you. Like there's not really much I could do and, and not even on no cheating shit, just on the fact of, okay, we broke up and you moved on and, 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 and then, you know, fuck, a whole bunch of other dudes or whatever and then now our paths cross again if you take her back bro i really don't have shit to say i really don't have shit to say to you my nigga like that's your fault and you signed up like if it didn't work the first time my nigga ain't gonna work the second time um and it, it you know you'll have some of these people who are like certain people will be like yeah man no nah, my story is like that like okay well i promise you your bitch is not loyal to you dog she's not loyal to the soil and I'm pretty sure she she's doing all a whole bunch of type of foul shit. But see, a lot of dudes will justify the, their relationship situation because they don't want you to be right. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It's a lot of niggas who will deny the truth be just solely so you are not the guy who's right. You feel me? Um, so yeah, bro, she she might have a man and she might ghost you because she getting she got dick, she wanted some attention, she got it from you. You fell for the trap. You got the attention. And then she goes to you because she actually really doesn't want to fuck with you. Or maybe she does fuck you and she goes to you anyways. I've gotten, I fucked the niggas bitch and then she goes to me. She sent me this long ass paragraph. So I guess it wasn't technically a ghost, but she was like, I have to stop all forms of communication with you, this, that, and the third. Um, Cause her boyfriend had already blocked me before the boyfriend blocked me before on her Snapchat. And then she added me on a, on a different Snapchat. She made a secret. Oh my God. She made a secret Snapchat and then started fucking with me on a secret Snapchat. I see hey, bro, these bitch, <laughs> these bitches ain't resisting a nigga. You feel me? Like we, we get to the bag. You feel me? So are we getting to that back? Nigga, we stretching that back, that Bach, that Bach. I'm gonna say Bach. We stretching that Bach out, my nigga. You feel what I'm saying? Uh, so, yeah, bro, she might have a man. You see what I'm saying? She might get bored with your ass. Either way, she's going to ghost you for reasons that may not be explained. You may not get no closure. Dude, you got to move on. You got to move on. You you can't be stuck on Shorty who ghosts you. I don't give a fuck if y'all been talking. I don't give a fuck if y'all been having sex. I don't give a fuck if y'all have been um doing all this nigga if she ghosts you ghost her back what's the problem that ain't no problem i see no problem with that you feel what i'm saying so y'all niggas y- y'all just have to stop thinking that 
damn, she's the one and, and she's going to be the last one. And, and she, and she rocks my mind and all this other shit. And she makes me feel so complete. She gives me this drive to live. Nigga, the drive to live should be from your own accord. The drive to live, you are the one who is supposed to give your own self drive. If you cannot be self motivated, you have nothing. Now, if you got guys in your in your corner who can motivate you and get you to the, that point where your self esteem is high enough where you can be self motivated, okay, cool. That's great. That's actually great. But if you're not on your shit, bro, and if you not are not pushing yourself and if you do not have your bag right, if you are not financially stable, you're going to feel some type of way. You're going to feel some type of way. You're going to feel insecure. You're going to feel not worthy. You're going to feel like you can't get a bitch like this because she got a Louis, a fake ass Louis V bag. Because <laughs> she got a fake ass Louis V bag, my nigga, and you think you can't get her because she because she seemed high class. Nigga, that bitch didn't pay full market for that damn Louis V bag, and y'all know it. The hell is y'all talking about? Like, come on, dog. We not finna play these games with these hoes, man. We're not finna act like these bitches just really getting money like that. I mean, it's some OnlyFans bitches who who getting like 90, 100 racks, some Twitch bitches who getting that much. But, bro, that's not the majority, bro. On some real shit, that is not the majority. You know, we got, we got bitches like this demanding all types of shit from niggas. You know what I mean? When, like, y'all niggas will see three white hoes and be like, damn, she she must be high class. Like, she not knowing that this bitch do not clean her bathroom, not knowing that this bitch do not know how to fold clothes, not knowing that this bitch do not know how to vacuum, not knowing that this bitch do not know how to clean her pussy, not knowing that this bitch do not know how to clean herself and keep her space sanitized. But y'all be giving benef- bitches benefit of the doubt because they cute and they got a fat ass. But, you know, I'll let y'all niggas have it. Y'all already know what it is. Your boy Quarantino to God. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. We definitely can't end on that one. Um, nah, we're going to end on a sister today. You feel me? We're going to end on a sister. Hey, babe. All right, so y'all already know what it is. Your boy Quarantino to God. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Send your relationship questions down below to my email with a screenshot of your cash app so I know you're paying your tithes. Um, yeah, man. If you get ghosted, bro, just just take it to the chin. You feel me? On to the next, on, on to the next one. Y'all need to be on y'all motherfucking dean with the bullshit, and these bitches won't ghost you. How about that? They like, as a matter of fact, you'll be the one ghosting them if you on your dean with the bullshit. But you already know what it is, your boy Quarantino God. I'm out.